chest rides and headed back home now. So I'm going to go around my house this afternoon so my day of bike riding is over. Just done the test rides on the CBR 650F and on Lamb's version and the CBR 1000RR. Just headed back home now. Definitely leaning towards the CBR 1000RR. Had plenty of grunts and uh, that's what I'll be looking at. Or something along those lines. Might look at the R1 or Kawasaki Ninja 1000 uh, Suzuki oh, sorry, the uh, yeah, Suzuki so I'm leaning towards the CBR 1000 but until I've actually ridden the other ones I would have to comment on exactly which one I prefer So the CBR 1000 that I did ride at the uh, shop definitely will not be the one that I uh, buy. It's a little bit rough and ready around the edges and not quite what I'm looking for. It's probably half a dozen decent scratches on it, which as I say, I just when you're spending $9,000 on a bike, you don't want to have to put up with that rubbish lots of people out there that do look after their bikes and you can get bikes that are 15 20 years old that are in pristine condi condition yes it might cost you a thousand dollars more but as i say it's something you're happy with you look at it and you have pride when you look at it And then we're back into the traffic jam. Yeehaw, thank Christ I didn't have this traffic jam when I was actually test riding those bikes because that would have been so annoying. As I say, it is a Saturday here, so I'm not sure why there's a traffic jam, whether there's been an accident or something. Usually Saturdays fair, flow reasonably well. Hopefully the sound quality maintained through those last couple of videos and this video because I was quite happy with the one I did previously. I was finally getting somewhere with the sound quality after numerous attempts. Now yeah, it's just my video, a videoing ability that I need to work on. Yeah, here we go again. Just get up a decent bit of speed and then BAM! Lose that speed!
just gotten back to what, we've, what I was talking about earlier in the day. Um, the Yamaha Star 650 um, is quite capable on the highway, as you just saw, overtaking and that is no problem. Uh, cruising at around 100, 110 kilometres and when you want to overtake, it's got plenty. You know, it's, it's definitely not a, a super bike or anything like that, but for what you need, it's, it's great. I haven't had a Kawasaki as yet. I uh, have had all the other Japanese brands. I've got two Hondas, two Yamahas, and a Suzuki at the moment. And uh, have also had one other Yamaha uh, cruiser, same as this one, but a 2013 model. Originally, I had one for the wife and one for myself, but due to the fact she doesn't ride hers very often, it, Trying to get two of them out every week was just a bit hard for me, so I thought, nah, I'll get rid of one of those, I can still ride hers when I want to. Um, so I've got the luxury of having a cruiser style bike when I want to ride back. As I say, all of my bikes are very different styles, so which is why I'm sort of looking at the sports but, uh, super bike now. I haven't really got anything in that category as yet. Once again, as I say, um, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and hit the notifications button as when I do this trip and as I say, the Albany trip, etc. Um, when I do the videos, you will get notified that they're coming up. So please hit the notifications button also. Okay, just on the home stretch now, so I'll wind things up. Um, sort of seen the two CBRs today, the 650F and the CBR 1000RR. Um, plus the trip to go and ride those and the trip home again. So I'd just like to thank everyone for watching. I uh, do appreciate every view that I get. And please sub subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the uh, notifications button so that all notifications whenever I release a video come through to you. As I say, I will be doing a trip down to Albany next weekend and uh, at, in December I am doing a, a motorbike ride around Australia. So please subscribe, please like the videos, have a wonderful day and stay upright. Thank you very much.